In the diagram below, circle O has a radius of 10. If measure of arc AB is equal to 72 degrees, find the area of shaded sector AOB in terms of pi. So this question is really asking you whether or not you recall the area of a sector formula. If you don't remember the area of sector formula, you can also try to figure this out logically. So when I say logically, I am asking you to think about this uh, in terms of a proportions problem. So 72 degrees uh, is to 360 degrees, and that's going to be the proportion that the shaded region is compared to the uh, rest of the circle. We're going to multiply this proportion by uh, pi r squared, so pi times 10 squared. So this is the approach that you would take if you don't remember the area of a sector formula. But I'm just going to continue executing this and to show you, and I want to solve it uh, another way using the area of a sector formula, because every student going through geometry, graduating from geometry, should know the formula. So uh, what is this? 72 over 360. Um, 9 goes into both 72 and 360, so I get 8 over um, 40. And... This is actually just one-fifth. What am I doing? So this is going to be one-fifth pi times 100, because 10 squared is 100, and we end up with, this is going to be 20 pi. So the answer is 20 pi. Now, we can also solve this a little differently. The area of a sector formula is actually this, one-half theta r squared, where theta is in radians. So what we need to do, 72 degrees converted into radians, is going to be uh, 72 pi over 180. And this is equivalent to uh, 8 pi over 20, or it's equivalent to uh, 2 pi over 5. So if I take this, okay, and plug it in, I have one half of 2 pi over 5 times 10 squared. So can you see that all of these things cancel? I have the 2 and the 2, and then I have 100 pi over 5, and that is also equivalent to 20 pi. So we end up in the same place. So you, I know what you are thinking. Uh, gosh, this is like so much more complex, the set converting the 72 into radians. Let me tell you, when you go into uh, more advanced math, you're going to move um, further and further away from using um, a degree measure and more uh, and actually using only uh, radian measure when describing angles. So I actually highly encourage you to, con to get more comfortable in working in radian measures over degree measures.